थैंक यू श्री अनिल देसाई जी अनिल देसाई जी थैंक यू चेयर ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर श्रीमती निर्मला सीतारामन जी प्रेजेंटेड द यूनियन बजट फॉर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर 24-25. The budget outlines a total expenditure of 48.21 lakh crores and receipts of 32.07 lakh crores of rupees, which excludes borrowings. The budget shows that the net tax receipts estimated at 25.83 lakh crores. Thus, the fiscal deficit is projected at 4.9 percent of the GDP. I hope the government would. contain this uh, deficit well within the limits prescribed and would not certainly jump so that economy doesn't get shaken though this budget emphasizes on key initiatives under the vikasit bharat team it largely offers sobs to bjp's allies tdp and jdu governed andhra pradesh and bihar whereas states like maharashtra Haryana Jharkhand found hardly any mention in the speech made by honorable fm we are not able to andhra pradesh or bihar as these states do require a location of sufficient funds but in the true spirit of cooperative federalism other states in the country should have been allocated proportionate share in the allocation which didn't happen sir road map drawn out by the government for the pursuit of fixed bharat is focusing on four major groups mahilae garib yuva and annadata to achieve the goal of fixed bharat nine priorities have been chalked out in this budget which includes productivity in agriculture employment and skilling inclusive human resources development and social justice manufacturing services urban development energy security infrastructure innovation research and development and next generation reforms these are the nine nine major points which have been focused in this budget though this budget carries an allocation of more than rupees 3 lakhs 3 lakh crores for schemes benefiting women and girls in order to enhance women's role in economic development but what is the situation on the ground as far as security and well being of the women in various states whatever provision in the budget does it really go to the go to empower the real rural women rural women's education health and security are the issues which remain unanswered as of date secondly as far as garib or poor is concerned the niti ayog claim that 24.8 crores people have been lifted out of the multi dimensional dimensional poverty in 9 year 9 years leading up to 2022 to 23 if this is true then why the program of free ration for 5 years to 80 crores poor in operation may the honorable fm enlighten the house on this issue sir unemployment is the biggest problem being faced in our country unemployment has reached its peak at at the rate of 9.2% according to the center for monitoring indian economy that is cmi the government central government department central government undertakings which have huge capacity to offer permanent employment to the youth of india should take up the recruitment drives and encourage states to for the gov state governments to fill in their vacancies in various departments private sector corporate should also be urged to take up recruitment drives recently in the state of maharashtra air india's fixed contract term recruitment exercise showed a pathetic sight of thousands of unemployed youth stranded outside the campus of air india struggling to make their way to get the job in the heavy rains which lashed the city on the uh, on that day the situation prevails this situation prevails all over the states in varying degrees the permanent job has become a word of the past and contract basis has become a norm where exploitation of youth at the hands of contractors has become an order of the day sir fourthly annadata the farmer has also been cursing his own fate and turns to commit suicide because Be, be it because of the vagaries of nature, tyranny of the money lenders, or no timely support from financial institutions or government policies like crop insurance or subsidies, 
Though the number of reports on the causes of farmer suicides have been released by NABAD and other agencies, steps taken by the government have well fallen short of short to provide relief to the farmers. Government, in real sense, should review the crop insurance policy and ensure timely distribution of subsidies and take other relevant measures to strengthen the Annadata, which is the need of the hour. Sir, since I come from the state of Maharashtra, the above stated facts about Mahilai, Garib, Yuva, and Annadata do really matter in various districts of my states. Along with this, I would like to mention here the Maharashtra contributes immensely to the central exchequer but does not get its due share in return. Our city of Mumbai, which is the financial capital of India, is the highest direct tax paying city in the country. But what does Mumbai get in return? The PIB, which released state-wise GST collections in March 24, Maharashtra topped the list in absolute numbers, followed by Karnataka, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Haryana, and UP. My sincere request to the Honorable FM to review the devolution of funds and increase the share of Maharashtra substantially in the coming years. Sir, the railways has seen an increased allocation of 5.8% from the previous years in this particular budget. It was anticipated that this budget would give priority to rail safety. However, the budget does not reflect government's promised focus on railway on rail safety despite several rail accidents in recent times, nor does it have anything to counter issues of congestion or comfortable travel which have been plaguing the railways for some quite some time. In the year 2020, National Automatic Train Protection System, that is Kavach, which would cover more than 35,000 kilometers of rail route, was declared by the government. The technology is to be fitted in train as well as on rail routes so that it would decrease the probability of accident. But the implementation of Kavach is slow and limited progress has been made in this direction. I would urge the government to complete the program Kavach and ensure safety in train travel. So many welfare schemes have been announced in this budget which look good on the paper, but do they really materialize and become operational and benefit the people at large? Whether the schemes like Har Ghar, Har Ghar, Nal Se Jal, Izzat Ghar, Sab Ke Liye Ghar, etc. are good for the people at large, especially in rural areas, but timely implementation of audit, timely implementation of audit will give the correct picture of these schemes. So the central government schemes like Mandrega, where provision is being reduced to 60,000 crores from 86,000 crores in 23-24. May I know the reason? Because Mandrega is the, is the scheme which really helps the rural farmers, the rural economy. Similarly, lesser provision has been made in research and development projects this year compared to 23-24. From 840, from 1200, which was earlier, now it has been made reduced to 840 crores. Solar power grid also faces the same. From 10,000, it has been reduced to 4970. May I know from the Honorable FM, from the Finance Minister, the reasons for this reduction in the provisions. So before I conclude, I regret that Honorable Finance Minister has not given any relief to the salaried middle class, which they were looking for. Mediclaim policy is of essence in today's world as medical treatment charges are beyond the capacity of the common man. The GST charge on Mediclaim policy is 18%, which makes it unaffordable to the middle class. This needs review by the GST Council. The new pension scheme should be replaced by old pension scheme as it is the genuine demand of the salaried class, which I hope the Honorable Finance Minister would look into and oblige the middle class. Sir, RBI and the economic survey which came the other day just before uh, the, the budget was presented, it showed that household savings and small savings has taken real dent, has taken really low as far as our economy is concerned. It is one of the indicators which gauges that the that the strength of the economy. If India is to become number three, as far as the global powers are concerned, then this is the power that we should give it to the people who really make the labor force of India. May I know from the Honorable Finance Minister what measures would be taken with the help on the outlines or the sidelines of the budget 
that will strengthen the economy of India and make it a superpower in time to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. Sri Dharmendra Jadavji. Dharmendra Jadavji.